Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another Code Smell of the Week. This time I'm looking at lazy classes. Lazy classes are just classes that aren't doing enough to justify their existence in terms of the maintenance overhead. So I've got an example here where we've got um, a, an address class here and instead of having a postcode field there's a postcode object which is defined by this class here which has very little in it and very little behavior just a little bit of behavior there to work out the postcode area to refactor this what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially move the fields and methods of postcode into the address class so I'm going to inline the postcode class into its container which is address I'm going to start by removing references to postcode from the tests uh, so and point the tests towards the address class like so now we've got a helper method here that creates an address with the exact same postcode so hurrah for refactoring here okay um, I need to specify a country. Well, we don't care about the country here, so I'll just use null. So we're going to create this method here called get postcode area, and I'm just going to delegate to our internal postcode object. Okay, I save that and I run the tests. By the way, I'm using JUnit Max here, so keep an eye on the Problems tab at the bottom of the screen. If a test fails, JUnit Max will report that as an error. Right. Okay, so there's one reference to postcode gone. Um, now we're also going to have to look at the constructor for address, which currently takes a new postcode as a parameter. I'm going to change the constructor. Let me just remove that, and I'm going to add postcode string parameter and we'll use the test postcode n12jp okay now this will require me to create the new postcode inside the constructor for now and no failing test reported by JUnit Max, that's good. Right, so at this point, postcode has been removed. All references to the postcode class have been removed from the tests. So we're now in a safe position to start moving the fields and behavior of postcode across. What I'm going to do is copy that field and replace postcode with it. This will, of course, create some damage. So now we're just assigning to a string field and this here is just the postcode string right and here what I'm going to be doing instead of delegating is I'm going to move the get postcode area across in its entirety and when I save that no errors reported lovely so now our postcode class is essentially redundant the fields and methods of postcode are now inside address address test does not depend on postcode in any way so it should be safe to me to delete postcode and nothing reported by JUnitMax it all seems to be good so that's the lazy class gone